How are you doing? John Zimmerman with tabletclass.com. Here to help you out with an amazing video on like terms. <laughs> so let's uh, let's make this as exciting as possible. And you got to understand like terms. If you're in algebra or you know you're middle school math, high school math, whatever, and you don't understand like terms, you're um, you're gonna have a pretty tough life. Okay. I don't want to go into the gory details, but you can use your imagination. So it's really pretty easy to uh, to learn. I hope. And um, hopefully this quick uh, video will will help you out. Okay, so here I have a bunch of algebraic terms. Now let's just kind of um, define what a term is real quick. All a term is in algebra, essentially a number. I'm just going to make something up here. Let's say like seven. Okay, in front of some variable. So I'm going to say like x. All right. So that's in its most basic respect an algebraic term, a number in front of some variable. Okay. Now the number part, this part here, is called the coefficient, right? And then this part here is called the variable. Together we call it a term, all right? So we're interested in like terms just to be able to identify um, them because if you do have like terms, you can combine them. In other words, you can add them up, okay? All right, so <clears throat> what uh, makes two terms like? Well, basically, you have to have the exact, exact, we don't care about the number part, okay? We only care about the variable part. You have to have the exact same variable part. So let me show you um, what I'm talking about, okay? 4x and 3x are like terms because they have x to the first power, okay? All right? Now, this one right here, now notice I'm not, I don't really care about the coefficient at all. It has nothing to do with like terms. This has x squared, okay, not x to the first. So this term is not like to 4x and 3x, all right? So here I wrote three examples. And you know, I always try to like, when I was a teacher, try to trick students into, you know, you know, almost <laughs> trying to drive them insane going, oh man, is it like terms? Is it not? Oh, what, what is it? What is it? You know, and it's not that hard if you understand it. Okay. If you don't understand it, then you're going to be guessing and you'll definitely drive yourself crazy. So let me ask you, 6x squared y, 6xy squared, and x squared y squared, are these like terms or any of these like terms? Okay. The answer is a big resounding no, because none of these parts match exactly. Okay. Yes, they're close. Okay, but close only ca uh, counts in in uh, hand grenades and and uh, oh boy, I don't know. There was another little phrase to that, but anyways, you know these are close, but that's not going to cut it. Okay, so if, if it's not 100%, um, they, if they don't match 100%. They're not like terms. So let's just kind of dabble around here, and make some things that actually do match. So let's say we had six x y squared negative 10 x y squared Yes, these are like terms, okay, because these parts right here match totally, and uh, that's all we need to know. Okay, so if someone tries to trick you, just stay, hey, you know, just ignore them. So in this respect, because the variable parts match exactly as these two do, we can combine like terms. So what does that mean? Well, it simply means we can just add these up, okay? So if I have 6xy squared, and I have negative 10 xy squares over here. How many xy squares do we have all together? Well, we just simply add the coefficients, okay? So in other words, I'm gonna add these up. Six plus negative 10 is negative four xy squared. And if you didn't know that six plus negative 10 was negative four, then you have bigger problems than like terms. Okay, so, Hopefully this cleared um, this topic up. You know we don't have to make it harder than it actually is. But if you're you know if you need some more review on it, I'd like to invite you over to our website, tabletclass.com. Okay, clear and understandable math. Why? Because we explain things in a way that most students get. We have a 30-day free trial. And by the way, we love comments and feedbacks on our video. So if you wouldn't mind, hey, have a great day. Hope uh, hopefully this helps you out.